Hi and welcome to the first lesson. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how you quick and easily invert your negative and remove the yellowish or orangish layer. Or later on after inverting, it's a blue layer. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly remove it. But first things first. In case you opened the image and you were brought into the develop persona, which is Affinity Photos RAW Converter, I recommend you to do the first part of the inversion inside of the RAW Converter. So let me show you how this would look then. This is Affinity Photos Develop Persona. It's the RAW Conversion tool. If you digitized your negative with a DSLR and you're using the RAW format, then most likely you're here now. Now do the following thing. Choose the color tab here and simply invert the curve layer. And now you already inverted your image. When you did this, hit develop. I will not hit develop because I want to show the second way to all of the other users that maybe do not use the develop persona. Some people tend to do a white balance here, but I usually don't like this too much, not in Affinity Photo. Only invert using the curves and hit develop. And in my case, since I want to show another way, I'm not going to hit develop. I hit cancel. Okay. Way number two for inverting the image. Go to the adjustment layer tab and choose invert. Great, now we inverted the image. Go to the layer panel, go here and say merge visible. Now we created a new image out of the two images or not two images out of our base image and the adjustment layer. See here. This means we can now delete the adjustment layer since we do not need it any longer. And it's just taking away some space and also it's taking away memory and CPU. So delete it. Okay, from here you usually have many different options in most of the image editing softwares out there. Also in Affinity Photo for the desktop, you would have some more options than here. You could for example use the curves or the levels by hand to bring the colors in as you like them. The point though is that the levels and curves adjustment layer do not give me an accurate representation of my individual color channels here on the iPad. That's why we're gonna use the automatic tool. And to be honest with you, I use this quite often, even on the desktop version, since 95 out of 100 times it gives me very, very good starting points. So let's go to the filters choose colors and say auto levels and wait for the magic to happen. And as you see, nearly instantly, we already have a super cool inversion of our image and it looks nearly right. I say nearly because I have been there and I took the photo and so I know that the greens and the reds were slightly different. The greens were more yellowish and the reds were much more stronger. And in this case, I'm gonna show you how to correct your colors. Let's go and choose another adjustment layer, Selective Color. The Selective Color adjustment layer allows you to select your different main colors and to choose the different color tones within these colors. I'm gonna show this to you with the neutrals, our, so our medium colors. If I'm gonna say plus magenta, so pulling it to the right, I'm gonna introduce quite a lot of magenta into the image. If I say minus, I'm going to introduce lots of green. Okay, so I want to introduce some magenta into the image, but not too much, just some, a little bit. Also, I want to introduce a little more yellow into the image. Great, and I want to reduce the cyans, since it wasn't that cyan. Great, next thing I'm going to do is going to the reds Make them more magenta. Less cyan. And more yellow. So the reds instantly became much more saturated, much more powerful. And this is exactly how I remember this scene. Now we go to the yellows. And now we're gonna Remove some of the cyan out of the yellows. 
we bring in some more magenta and also some more yellow into the yellows. Great. Now let's go to the greens, remove some cyan because it wasn't that cyan as I told you in the beginning. Put in some more magenta, but not too much. Be gentle here, like 10 or something. And a little more yellow. But just a tack. Great. Now let's go back to our layers panel. And let's see the before and after by checking or unchecking the box. Here we have our before and our after. And I have to say, I'm quite happy with how this image turned out so far. So this is one way of super easily inverting your image, your color negative image inside of Affinity Photo for the iPad. Now, I wanna go further here and show you another way of messing around with the colors. Therefore, we are gonna choose another adjustment layer called Color Balance. And here we can adjust the color balance of the highlights, midtones, and shadows. Now, I'm just gonna play around a little bit and you're gonna see what this means. I introduce a little bit more red into the midtones. Here, I introduce a little bit more magenta into the midtones. And here, I'm gonna introduce a little bit more yellow or blue. Who knows? A little bit more yellow into the midtones. Let's go to the shadow areas. Let's go here and Introduce some red into the shadows, but only some, some blue, and maybe some magenta. Oh yes, oh yes, I like this quite a lot. And the highlights, I generally do not touch them quite a lot. I want to introduce a little bit more blue into the highlights for the sky up here. A little bit less green but just a little, and the same goes for the red. That's it so far for editing the colors. What have we done so far? We inverted our image. Then we used an automation, a filter called Auto Levels, and got this very basic image. We created a selective color adjustment to make the colors better or more to our likings, and then we also used our color balance adjustment to make them even greater. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm using a curves adjustment layer to bring in a little bit more contrast into the image. Let's go to the adjustment layers and create a curves layer. Now go and hit the spline tool and make this little S shape here. So this gives quite a lot of punch to the image. Now, as you may know, with changing the contrast of the image, you also change its saturation. That's why we're going back to the layers panel, choosing the curves adjustment layer, pushing the three dots in the upper left corner of the layers adjustment panel, and change the blend mode from normal to luminosity. And now it is not affecting our saturation at all. Go back to our layer options, uncheck the layer and check it in again. And you can see it quite dramatically changed the contrast. Now, before we proceed, I wanna explain you something about sharpening. And therefore, you're gonna see my lovely face in just a second before we go on with the training. So that's it so far for inverting and doing some basic color changes. We're gonna do more of this in a later lesson.